There's now cross borders uh, to Nigeria where the country is heading to the polls to elect a successor to President Muhammadu Buhari who is stepping down after eight years of service. Millions of Nigerians are due to vote in the most competitive presidential election since military rule ended. Now since 1999, Africa's most populous country has been dominated by two parties, that is the ruling APC and the PDP. But this time there is also a strong challenge from a third party candidate. The the Labour Party's Peter Obi, who is backed by many young people. The vote is being held in 176,606 polling units located in 8,809 registration areas or electoral wards in 774 local government areas nationwide. Although elections will not be held in 240 polling stations, mainly because of insecurity or because communities there have been displaced by violence, they will be voting in a president, vice president, the Senate and House of Representatives. This vote comes ahead of gubernatorial elections that will take place on March 11th in most of the 36 states in the country, with voters also casting ballots for state lawmakers in all the states. A credible process, uh, you know, than previous ones, and I think it is good that we are improving with every election cycle.